Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. Today I am going to cover a topic, how to read a research paper. This is again, if you are following my earlier video, I have uh, made on research and publication ethics, on Turnitin, on Urkund, on different you know software or uh, or platform where where basically they support research you know uh, process or or finding sort of uh, you know information, but this is again a beginner's guide for the early researcher or uh, the researcher or the student they planning to do their research and they lent uh, into sort of queries or problem where they are uh, not moving forward uh, because of the available resources many of the time that do happen we have so many things and we do not know from where to start or which one to select so this is what uh, this particular topic is all about selecting uh, the article that you need to focus or that you need to go in depth so how to do that and which one to select or how to read a research paper so uh, to start with that what we can do is we can have a sort of easy formula let's say satak because this you can easily remember s-a-t-a-k and uh, now we'll sell start so s stand for what that we'll see so here as the first thing that you can see over here is search research paper so this s what i was talking about this from satak this stand for searching of this research article or paper or manuscript on different domain again you have you might have uh, resources uh, or your library you know subscription e resources or the printed uh, you know published article or magazine all all sort of thing uh, here i am focusing on the online resources what you know anyone can explore newly researcher or you know as a layman if if i would like to start what i will do i will go to the google platform to make it more precise as if a student what you can do you better select google scholar uh, platform i will give all this uh, hyperlink in the description also about the google scholar you also might be knowing this platform so having a search at google and google scholar is a bit different uh, it is more channelized search in google scholar where you are planning to get information on the research article on your particular area so again here few things that will come into mind which how to you know type keyword or what sort of information you will do that is a different thing that we will be covering later on but let's say in generic let's say i'm doing a research on computer science uh, area particularly on brain cancer so what i'll do brain cancer then uh, then i can write let me write then i will put pdf here so all the pdf article that are available will be shown once you do a search over here so in that way you can do that and uh, you have again like you have science direct this is again uh, you know many of the open op like uh, article that are available in open ss journal or published in open ss journal so you can able to download those articles few might be up on subscription many of the time we do think that you know platform like science direct springer link you will not get article because they they do have subscription version but they have so many article that are published in open ss platform or in open ss journal so you can explore those one as well so this is one of the uh, platform again you have scopus also scopus you might need to have this subscription uh, to explore scopus you know document uh, on that i have already prepared a video on like complementary basis how you can do that but uh, later on you can explore that video as well then you have here is uh, your pubmed if somebody is working in the healthcare domain so he or she can search at uh, uh, at this platform also then you have ieee ss many of the time uh, if you are working in a or you are studying in a university or institution you might have subscription to ieee springer link or scoopers even uh, the 
Elsevier that I have shown you. So on that you can do your search, uh, that science direct that I was talking about. So you can perform your search and you can get the article. This platform where I am focusing is, you know, um, including the Google Scholar, you, you might learn to the published version of, you know, reputed journal. Because uh, what will happen that if you do a generic search at, at let's say, a different platform which, which is not secure or it is, you know, you do not know where it is landing to, you might have so many of articles and those might be published in predatory journal. To avoid that, if you do your search in generalized or in standard, you know, databases, then you lend to those articles which are published in index you know good index uh, journal like web of science or scooper so it will be much more easy for you to you know select article from those and go in depth of those article only again you have here is springer link here also openly or uh, article published in uh, open ss journal you can you know you can get uh, um, those article also but again that are that will be limited to the springer journal springer um, journal that are in that are part of Springer or Springer nature. The second one which I was talking about Satak is the second SATAKA stand for SATAK. So here A stand for archiving or arranging. I have I am keeping it rearranging because you have now you have already downloaded all those let's say openly available article uh, why I'm talking about uh, the article that are available only openly that you want to download because uh, we're just uh, uh, addressing the you know newly researcher and they, they may not be having all the different uh, resources or like subscription the, or uh, subscription version so they will be you know searching article that are published in open ss platform so let's say this this many you know article the pdf you can see you have downloaded so what i've done is the first thing what i like to do is i will be rearranging them if you are not following mendeley or jotero and as as you do not know about them and you want to explore that that also you can do that very easy you can use them and uh, you can uh, it will help you in citation and referencing but just uh, as for beginner you want to rearrange it in your manual way what you can do you can rename it with the year sequence so once you rearrange in your folder wherever you have saved that in all those document it will be rearranged in this year wise manner more thing what you can do you have different document type either that is a conference paper journal paper or you have book chapter so this three category normally you will be getting once you will be downloading the article so what you can do while rearranging let's say one article you have is from 2022 so what i'll do is i'll rename it is 2022 and that is a journal article so i'll just put underscore j and j dot pdf if another article from the same year and that is from a conference paper what i will do 2022 underscore c dot pdf pdf automatically that will come so in that way i can rename if from the same year it will do automatically it will tell you like if you are repeating it a conference so automatically this one will come you can rename it so in that way once you do that you have at least uh, you'll be coming to a phase at least you can able to segregate how many are from conference let's say you have downloaded 10 paper from conference journal paper you have 50 then you have book chapter you have around 30 so now from this this particular you know uh, let me clear it so let's say conference you have 10 journal you have 50 then book chapter you have 20 so my interest is to only focus on journal article and i will be reading only journal of uh, the article that are published in journal i'm not saying avoid book chapter and conference but 
uh, my intention is to uh, you know have only uh, I will be focusing on the journal article so what I'll do I'll neglect simply because I have renamed it so I will not read those article which belong to book chapter or conference so I, I I'll ignore it so only out of this you know 80 you have only 50 left to go through again once you sorted it out those 50 what you can do again you can see the year you have selected you may need to avoid the old you know uh, old or or the paper that are published uh, in uh, like 2000 or uh, beyond that you know a decade back and we are focusing on the recently published article few you have to uh, focus like few base paper which from the concept has been originated that you have to consider but other than that you can ignore so let's say i will only focus on uh, five last five year article so now you have an option from this 50 as you have sorted it out you can see how many is from that year so let's say here you have only 20 article so let's see from 80 now we have reduced to 20 article so it it may be of 100 or 200 from that let's say you have reduced to 100 article and now you want to go through those article so how to do that the next satak that we have been talking about the next step is to quick glance or read that again will write satak s a t a k this is over then t t stand for the title of the manuscript so what i have done here is i have opened a pdf that i have already downloaded and this is t the title of the research paper so based on this title you can have able to come to a conclusion like i'm looking forward only the cancer related here it is breast cancer a diagnosis and you want to go through it they have used some uh, deep learning algorithm so okay fine then a stand for abstract this abstract so this abstract will give you idea like this is in this particular paper which which is one of our paper recently published it is structured abstract like it is the purpose method then the result is being discussed even the conclusion so reading a structure abstract is much more easier uh, by reading an unstructured abstract or understanding it because you will be getting all the information like what they intended to do what are the method they had followed and what are the result they have achieved and the conclusion so based on this title now you have your abstract and this k stand for the keywords so this satak now it is completed for quick glance what i'm doing is is i'm following tak the sorry yes tak that is the title abstract and the keyword so once you go through that you will come to know whether to go uh, in depth of it or not or whether to now what will follow the next one will be introduction whether to read this intro or not you will come to a phase and moreover other than this attack what else you can look into at a quick glance you know before finalizing which document to read in detail uh, what you can do here let me clear it what you can do is you can have a look at the conclusion also conclusion is also as much important like if you are uh, if the abstract is not following you know st uh, structured way and uh, the conclusion you want to read so you can have a glance over the conclusion and you can decide you know what your idea of or what you are expecting from the article whether that is relevant for you or not and along with the con con uh, once you read the conclusion then you can have a quick glance on the references also how many references they have used here let's say they have used um, 25 or 30 article they have referred and how many they have you can have a quick glance whether the article is from the recent year or not and from the journal or not 
or if they have used more from book chapter or conferences so you can avoid those uh, article in in the you know in uh, in reading in depth of those particular um, you know articles so you can avoid if 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 they have referred more from the conference paper and uh, if it is well and good from recently published article they have referred and from the journal then it is well and good and you can move ahead so the next thing similarly uh, i'll show you another article like here you have uh, this is like another oh you can have a quick glance on the title now you have you know the title then you know the abstract here you see it is unstructured abstract but by reading it you can able to know here also the result has been shown the precision recall and what they wanted to do and what are the method they have followed and the keyword also you can see so on that you will be having a quick uh, you know sort of uh, idea whether to go in depth of it or after that you can have uh, uh, some uh, you can have a glance on the conclusion as well what you can do you can go through the conclusion and you see whether that uh, that they are giving you know sort of information which you are looking or not so if it is okay uh, then again as i told you have a quick glance on the references uh, the references you can see the references here um in the earlier one the reference style is different here the reference style style is different and you can see uh, they have pub, uh, they have cited recent article also so it is fine and the total number of article they have cited is uh, 36 so um, good number of you know good average number of article is being cited and most are from the journal so it is you know uh, you can think of considering this sort of article again the article which another factor that i will be discussing later on is okay so once once you have that you know sort of uh, idea now now you can jump into in depth reading of that paper so which one now now you have selected you have selected few articles which on a quick glance you come to know or you have followed that satak approach to finalize or to sort you know let's say 30 or 40 article and now you want to go through it what else you need to consider you have considered or you need to consider is journal paper again journal which you have downloaded either that are indexed indexed or not then the year of publication recently published or not indexing uh, you, you web of science as initial and scoopers you can have a sort of benchmark so that it, it will help you uh, to reach to those selected article which are published in a reputed journal and uh, and you also can see the citation of the article that I have received citation also you can see so citation uh, you may or you, you because recently published article may not be receiving that much of citation so you can look into that also if a article is being cited so that means um, people are reading those article and you can also have a look on those article and other thing that i have told you that it should follow other than satak uh, the indexing and the year and you know whether it is a journal or a conference paper or a book chapter so to let's say if you are looking towards review paper writing so you can think of conference paper book chapter and other thing also and for early you know research idea better to look into journal article so this is what i wanted to tell you and uh, now let's see what i will do is uh, i'll show you uh, article that article which i have shown you so once once you have your idea like uh, which one to read now you can uh, go in depth of it so you can read the in introduction and you can have uh, the related work also because again methods and result is uh, there is importance to it but 
those things you know on a quick glance you, you come to know from the conclusion and from the abstract what they have used so uh, you, you should have an idea if it is not reflecting you can have a quick glance on the result part also from the published paper so this is how you know uh, you can you can now you can go through it in detail you can go through in detail and then you can plan your research thank you for watching this particular video please do like and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed stay tuned uh, and thank you again for supporting e-support for research